How can you make $13,620 a month on autopilot? Let's go. Ryan Melnick back here with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how you can make $13,620 a month on complete autopilot. Now, that being said, before we jump into the video and get to discussing this part of it, what I do wanna mention here is we are doing a giveaway this week. We're doing one every single week. We're gonna be announcing the giveaway and allowing you to be eligible, 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 eligible on Tuesday and Thursday. We're gonna be announcing the winner each and every week. This week, we are giving away to one random person free access to our new program, Dropshipping Perfection 2.0, which is over 43 hours of step-by-step -step content, showing you my exact process, case studies, everything you could possibly need to know about having success in this business. So to be eligible, and really just if you're here watching the video today, I do suggest you click the subscribe button below here, click the like button. In order to be qualified, you have to be subscribed, and you have to like the video. And then most importantly, what I want you to do to qualify for this giveaway that we're gonna be doing and announcing on Thursday at five Eastern Standard Time, which is our normal video time, what I want you to do is comment below and let me know that one of your biggest struggles, okay? So let me know what, what is your biggest struggle as an entrepreneur when it comes to Shopify dropshipping? What is the biggest thing that you think you need help with or you think you just struggle with in general? So let me know below, what is the number one thing you struggle with as a Shopify dropshipping entrepreneur that you think you need help with as it, as it comes to the entirety of the business model or you know finding products, Facebook ads, whatever it may be, let me know below to qualify for the giveaway. Okay, so all that being said, let's jump into the video right now. Let's talk about it, $13,620 a month, but the key is on autopilot. Now I know with many of you starting out in this business, you start off and you do one thing and you do one thing only. You Rambo it, right? And what do I mean by you Rambo it? Okay, we've all done this, okay? I did it when I started out, is you sit there and you're like, I can do everything. I can be customer service. I can be product research. I can do Facebook ads. I can be 14 different people and respond to 14 different people while doing 30 million different ads and testing 7 million products and running my store and managing everything and running a multi six figure business. That works, but only for a little bit until you get burnt out and it's not going to be something that is going to be uh, super long term and provide you success. Uh, over the long term of what you're trying to do in this business. So while there's nothing wrong with rambling it at the beginning, it is not the ideal situation and it is not the way uh, to build yourself a passive form of income as it relates to this business. So what is it that we can do to start to outsource some of these things and start to make some money and make it somewhat of this passive way of making money and make it, uh, you know, on autopilot, right? You know, turn this to a, to a business on autopilot, okay? What is it something that we can do? So let's jump into it right now. A few things I'm gonna talk about today specifically that I think are unbelievably important for you guys to understand as it relates to uh, putting this business on autopilot and making this money work for you instead of working for the money that we're going to, you know, go make, right? So the first thing I wanna talk about is outsourcing, okay? So outsourcing is unbelievably important because you know, you are only what you can put it into a day, right? That is the only value you're going to get out of yourself is, is the amount of hours that you can put into a day. So what we want to do is essentially take some of the load off of ourselves to do the things that don't go and make us money. What would that be? For example, when it comes to this business, just for an example, we'll say emails, right? Which would be, you know, essentially customer service, right? So you'd outsource your emails. Okay. We'll say, um, Payment processing, this pen's a little weird, management, okay? What do I mean by that? It means managing refunds. It means, uh, you know, dealing with customers. It's kind of just customer service, once again. Like, you don't want to be sitting there doing refunds on PayPal or on Stripe or on Shopify payments or whatever it may be. You don't need to be doing that. It's a waste of time, okay? So uh, for you, right, and especially when you're going down the road and trying to uh, make this a business where you don't put in quite as much work as you used to, right? Okay, so the first thing we can do in order to make this business run on its own and have it 
be getting close to that autopilot uh, place that we want to be, the first thing we can do is we can outsource the things that don't make us money. Now that means we start a little bit slow, maybe you start with customer service, uh, maybe you start with order fulfillment, uh, if that's something you have, if you have Oberlo or you know uh, Dropify or something like that where you actually have to go and click through the order on AliExpress, you can do the things that don't make you money and take up a lot of time. So that's the first thing we want to do is we want to outsource, okay? Outsourcing is unbelievably important and it's unbelievably valuable, okay? Now the next thing I want to talk about, something that I think is huge, okay? And this is very similar to, I'm going to, I'm going to just pair these two together actually. I was going to separate them, but I'm actually going to pair them together. So artificial tel intelligence, artificial intelligence and automation. Now when you say artificial intelligence, it sounds unbelievably like complex and super cool and like badass. I get it, okay? So that's not exactly what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, and it is, it's cool, and it it's definitely provides lots of value, and it's whatever, okay? But when I say it, I'm not talking about self-driving cars. No, we're just talking about something that, that has a script attached to it, or basically just something that does something that we don't want to do because it wastes our time, or it's, it takes up time in our day, okay? So let's, let's go over some of the things that we can do uh, that include artificial intelligence, intelligence and automation, okay? For instance... Aftership is something that uh, actually is complete automation, right? So Aftership, whoa, that was really bad. Okay, you guys get the point here. Sorry, this new tool, this tool's like delayed. You can see like it follows me. I don't know if that's I'm using the wrong, I guess I'm using a pencil, whatever. Aftership, guys, so Aftership, when, a order, when an order comes through on our store and the tracking number is updated on our store, uh, notifications are actually sent out to the customers automatically. We don't actually have to go and email these customers. So the customer is informed of what's going on. And that is essentially the automation side of things where you know, we don't have to go and do anything, but our customers are automatically informed of what's going on, okay? And so that allows us to not have to deal, it kind of takes away with some of the uh, customer service issues that we could potentially have and helps us just um, you know, really spend less time dealing with customer service issues or paying for a virtual assistant, for instance, because this is, you know, we talk about outsourcing, we talk about virtual assistants potentially. Um, you can hire your family, your friends, something like that, but I do recommend getting a virtual assistant. They're better at their job than any family member or friend that you can hire. Um, they're very skilled and they're <clears throat> honestly some of the most intelligent people you'll ever meet and they're awesome. They're amazing. And they do it for unbelievably uh, cheap. It's very affordable, guys. Four bucks an hour, you know, maybe five bucks an hour max is what you should be spending on these amazing uh, virtual assistants that can do a lot for you, okay? Another example of this, PayPal tracking. I talk about this all the time, guys. Man, this is brutal, it's like very delayed. I'm gonna have to find a better tool here, a better writing utensil, okay? PayPal tracking on autopilot. Jeez, really late here. It's also like doesn't let me. Okay, there you go. PayPal tracking on, oh, this is really like just weird looking. Okay, so another way uh, to integrate uh, artificial intelligence automation into our store and kind of take some of the burden off of us is to use these apps. For instance, another one is PayPal tracking on autopilot. What we do is you basically go and get this app. Uh, if you look at my YouTube channel, I actually have a video where I talk about PayPal holding over $100,000 from me. Definitely go check that video out. Um, I, what I'll actually do is I'll put a, uh, a link below in the description here so you guys can check that video out as well. I talk about PayPal tracking on autopilot and how it can uh, help you not get your money held in PayPal. Now you can inform PayPal of what's going on with your business. So PayPal tracking on autopilot, what it does is once uh, the, the uh, order is actually shipped out to the customer, the tracking number that we have in our Shopify store is automatically put into our PayPal account. Instead of us having to go and uh, you know manually do it, which you know if you're doing like 50 orders a day, that could take three or four hours to go and put each one in there. PayPal tracking on autopilot, it's something like 15, 16, 17 cents per order. It's unbelievably worth it. Um, if you're starting to scale this business, you're making any money or even breaking even at all. It's part of the process that's unbelievably important and would suggest you get, you know, especially early on in the process, okay? So, after ship, PayPal tracking on autopilot. Um, just some other ideas, you know, for instance here, we're just talking about automation and artificial intelligence. Whatever your um, order fulfillment process is, okay? I'm gonna put OF as for order fulfillment, okay? <clears throat> and so what I mean by that is, you know, that could mean, I'm just gonna put this one a different color. It could mean um, 
Well, if you can hear the trash people outside, it's kind of loud. They're squeaking. What is today? It's today is Tuesday. It's trash does come today. Oberlo, right? Oberlo or Dropify. Those are just some examples. You know, some people are using self fulfillment. Um, you know, in uh, with directly with suppliers. You know, they're doing apps now. Some people are doing. Um, you know. Um, U.S. order fulfillment, whatever it may be, your order fulfillment software that you have should be as automated as it can possibly get, okay, so that you don't have to go through and click too many buttons, and if your VA has to do it, there's not too much of the process that's involved with it, okay, so um, when it comes down to it, you do want to have something as the, on the order fulfillment side of things that includes artificial intelligence or automation, so you don't have to go in, you know, guys, this isn't the Stone Age, this isn't four years ago back in 2015 when we had to, and yes, this actually happened, when you had to actually type in every single John Smith. Second Street, Atlanta, Georgia, US. You had to go and type in every single line. We're not like that nowadays. Nowadays, they have scripts set up, they have automation. You could work directly with your supplier. There's tons of things we could do to automate that process. There's no reason you should be typing in every single you know, little thing. Um, you should definitely have an automated resource to go and use. If not, something that's semi-automated like an Oberlo or Dropify, okay? And then you can integrate in your virtual assistant to do that and pay them something like three, four, five dollars an hour. And it'd be unbelievably cheap for you. And you don't have to do as much. And what this all does for us is one really big thing that links back to making $13,000 a month on autopilot, guys. That's unbelievably important. Is it does one thing for us. One very important concept that's unbelievably important, you know, for everybody to understand here. It's just, it's an amazing concept. I love it. And that is that we get to focus on one thing and one thing only. And that's bringing in the massive amounts of dough that we know we can, okay? Because if we can automate these things out, that $13,000 a month can easily turn into twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a month. We have the ability with one of the most powerful marketing tools in the history of the world with Facebook on the back end using the ads manager to scale at unbelievably high levels in just a few days. Sometimes, guys, you can literally scale from $13,000 a month up to $20,000 a month in the scale of a few few days, literally a day, right? Um, just because you can be doing thousands of dollars a day, it's unbelievably possible. But in order to do that, in order to do it efficiently with the correct process that you have set up, you have to allow yourself to do things, only the things that actually make you money. That's your Facebook advertisements. That is, um, you know, your optimization in Facebook. That is increasing your average order value. That is working on your store, not managing the store, but working on it to make more money. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. That is how you not only make thirteen thousand six hundred twenty dollars a month, but how you do it a hundred percent on autopilot and not have to put too much work into the entirety of the business. You can be sitting on a beach somewhere, sipping a pina colada and making a bunch of dough. But that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you click that subscribe button below. Make sure you enter the giveaway by commenting below the one thing you think you need the most help with in Shopify dropshipping. But that's it for this video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>